Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play Manufactio. I upload a new episode of Modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Smash like if you feel I earned it and also consider leaving a boom in the comment section below. And if you're ready, then let's play with D-Day. All right, my dudes. Today's a special day. We're back to Manufactio. It's Friday. It's been a really long week for me. So let's jump straight into the fun times here. Uh, we need... Oh, look at how little bookmarks I have here. We need a blueprint for the pump jack. We need the projector so that we can put together the distillation tower. And yeah, the cobble gens for a different episode. Today, what we're going to do is oil 2.0. We are going to upgrade uh, into pump jacks for gathering oil and the immersive engineering distillation tower so that we can uh, get a better return on the oil that we find. So uh, pump jack, of course, blueprint. These are a lifesaver. They really are. Let's see. Lapis. Cool. Two pieces of lapis. We need paper. Let's go. One piece of paper. We need a button. One button. I believe it was steel scaffolding. And a treated fence. Okay, let me also grab treated wood. An alien mega swarm has been detected. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do that real quick. Here we go. So back to it. Let's go ahead and make the uh, blueprint for the pump jack. We have this guy. Of course, we get to keep the uh, the steel scaffolding and the treated wood. And let's also make the projector, which is pretty crazy. It requires a lantern, and we can't craft these lanterns. But we did get eight at the beginning of the pack, so I'm going to take this guy from here for right now. And we need two pieces of uh, iron. Let's see. Does that pull? Oh, it pulled stacks. I need to shift click. All right. And then we also need glass. So let's go glass and glowstone, I believe. Or maybe, yeah, no, it's a lantern instead of uh, the glowstone's required for the lantern. That's what I was thinking of. All right. So let's make the projector. All right. So we have the projector. We have the engineer's manual as well. Uh, I have some hardened stone from the new drilling area that we have over in the back. Uh, we ran out of hardened stone. So that is going to be something that uh, we're going to have to set up in a future episode. And I'm going to go with the cobble gen. That's why I have the tag up here. The cobble gen is going to make us uh, cobblestone with lava that we find today uh, or in this episode. And then uh, we smelt it to turn it into stone, and then we smelt it again to turn it into hardened stone. So here we go, I can drop some of this guy off. Let's see, do we have any more? Oh, we, yeah, everything dropped into our extended inventory. I'll clean that up later. 
we have enough room to continue right now. All right, so let's see, what do we need for the pump jack? Redstone engineering block, light engineering block, heavy engineering block, blocks of steel, steel sheet metal, 10 steel scaffolding, five treated wood fence, and four fluid pipes. That's not too bad. Uh, so before I gather everything we need for pump jacks, let's go ahead and unlock uh, the parts of the book. Let's go, we need this guy, prospecting deeper. So green and red. Go ahead, grab some green, grab some red, and detect. So now we can make the seismic reader. All right, we're also gonna need pump jacks. Let's go, green, red, all right. And we need this guy for uh, advanced oil processing. It's the uh, immersive engineering distillation tower. So let's go detect, how much are we missing? One of each, that, that, and that. Here we go, let's drop this off. All right. I believe that's all we need to do for this episode. So let's go seismic reader. Seismic vibrator, which one was it called? Core sample drill, right? Yeah, it's the core sample drill is what we need. We need this guy. Uh, we need to gather all the materials we need for the distillation tower, which I'm gonna pull out of the book. Let's see. The book. We go oil processing and distillation tower. Here's this beast right here. 25 steel scaffolding, 33 steel scaffolding slabs, 17 fluid pipes, one redstone engineering block, four heavy engineering block, and 60 iron sheet metal. Now that we have it on this page, what we can do is we can craft it together and we can turn it into the distillation tower projector. So now we can use this to project the image of the distillation tower and we can build around it. So let me drop off the red and I'll gather everything we need to uh, progress so that we have everything for at least one pump jack and the distillation tower and we'll make the core sample drill together. All right, so I think I have gathered everything we need, unless I made a small math error, which you guys know I do pretty frequently. <laughs> but let's go ahead and make the core sample drill right here. There we go, we have a core sample drill now, and uh, I'm pretty sure I have everything required for two pump jacks and the distillation tower. And one really goofy thing, it wouldn't go in the capsule, until I used the chisel to change the block of steel to immersive engineering because uh, the default is thermal foundation. I had to change it to immersive engineering for the blueprint to register it. So now I can show you guys, uh, not last episode, I think the episode before that, we worked on redstone, of course, uh, the batteries. Now we can make MV capacitors. This guy I've been letting charge here. And this is the awesome part. Uh, one of two things we can do. So which one should we do first? I think it's it's about time that we clean up the, uh, the huge natural disaster that I caused at the beginning of the series. Let's go ahead and grab a pollutant pump. We can grab some pipe. And we need two filters. We need carbon and we need sulfur. Okay. So now we can finally head over here to this disaster area that is destroying everything. Right here. Yeah, this guy's been, been pretty busy this entire time. Oh, and it's creeping again. So let's see. Right about here, we'll do F9 twice. Yep, we're inside the chunk. We can break this guy down. It'd be smarter if I use the, uh, let's go, mining drill. There we go. We'll put Kid up for a little bit. And I want to keep the chunk loader, the spot loader, in place. 
so that it can continue to clean while we're gone. So let's go and we just picked up a lot of gunk. Let's move this. We need the pollutant pipe. Where are you? There you go. The pump. And we need to figure this one out. Okay, so we are sitting on Y level 67. And we need the pipe to go to 128, I believe. So what is that? Uh, 61? 61. Let's see if uh, running 61 will make it start spitting out. Okay. I'm going to be careful not to overclick. Let's go. 30. All right. 20. 10 and... Oh, you're not... Oh. Okay, I guess it hit the ceiling. Sometimes it decides to hit the ceiling. Nope, yeah, you hit the ceiling. Cool. That's the easy way to do it. Alright, and then filters. And this is the important part. Let's see, do I have... I have it hammered to input only on one side. Alright, so we're going to output power right there. And there we go. Now we don't have to worry about running the uh, the power lines all the way over to here. So there we go. This guy should start cleaning up. And when the filters are full, it'll just keep pumping it out the bottom until I come back and clean this guy up. We got the spot loader in place. I'm just going to leave it right there for now. But there we go. We have the MV capacitor. Uh, we can use that to clean up this chunk. And I just thought of this. <laughs> Doofy me. I didn't make two. I only made one. So I'll go ahead and I'll clean this off camera. Because I, I need this MV capacitor for what I wanted to do this episode. Whoops. Either way, it's still going to be the same same chunk. Uh, as long as we don't get too close to it, the pollution won't leave the chunk. And everything else is doing kind of well. I believe it's continued raining, so the, uh, the sulfur leaves from time to time. And I honestly, I don't know why I have really random pieces of carbon. I don't know why. I, I haven't seen any of them go up because I AFK a lot. But it drives me crazy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, focus. We are going to scan our chunks now with immersive engineering. So I feel like starting here because this is the open area. Oop, I'm all the way up there. This open area, I'd love to find something in here so I can start building. So we're going to go in a straight line from right here. We're going to put down this guy, our core sample drill. Alright, output and right click. We can pick this guy back up. Alright, and what's in here? We'll put it into the corner, I would say, here. This chunk has shift, right click, it's a tin vein. It does look like it has iron as well. No fluid reservoir, that's the important part. So let's move to the next chunk over here. And we got an output, and we can right click. And the charge it has, the 8000, is enough for it to finish its process. I don't want it to waste power out of the MV capacitor. And let's go. Uh, I guess we can move the blaster shotgun. Oh, this is a dead chunk. That's a bummer. I'm going to put him like this in the corners. It has nothing in it. Wow. That way, uh, we only need to look at one of the four corners. Let's go ahead, core sample. Right click. You're full. Yeah. There we go. What is this goofy thing that's going on? Why does it keep giving me my fluid pipe? Okay. Let's see. What is this? This looks promising. No, it's a coal vein. I was hoping that was going to be oil. Coal vein. Let's keep going. I'll do these. Whoops, I missed. Shame, shame. Right click, pick you back up. 
All right. Going back up. Mm, let's see what you got. No fluid and it's a lead vein. Okay, so I'm gonna do this for uh, every four chunks in the corners like this. And if I hit something awesome, I'll put it in the video, of course, for you guys. Ooh, there we go. This is nice. We found a titanium vein. And this one does have water in it. Uh, that's, that's cool. But we can make infinite water sources, so it's not really that important. But titanium, very important. All right, and we have an iron vein right next to the, uh, the titanium vein. So maybe, maybe... I'll test out uh, the excavator with iron to see if that is a better way of getting iron from now on. There we go, we found lava. Lava is gonna be important, not for this episode, but for next episode, when we start pumping lava and we make a an entire tech guns section where we can use the lava. Awesome, we found uranium. So we found lava, we found titanium, we found uranium. The only thing we're missing now is oil, which this is the episode for oil. <laughs> there we go, we found a silver vein that also has, uh, what is that, 9,099 buckets of oil, which is pretty awesome. Let's check the four corners here, make sure that uh, we don't have a better choice, like if one of these uh, three chunks here has a higher supply of oil. Cool, we have a lava deposit inside of this four chunk area as well. So oil and lava. Okay, so now that we have uh, found oil, I went ahead and I put the MV capacitor over here. It is slowly draining of uh, RF meaning this guy is being put to work. We'll clean out this chunk, and we can head back over here. If you guys are using the seed, I'm not 100% sure if that seed also covers where uh, I immersive engineering has its uh, oil deposits, titanium, uranium deposits. I'm not sure if it covers that. But let me see, I can pause my bearings. I know we were inside one of these amp piles. Yeah, right here. We're over here, inside this one. Okay. So what's awesome about uh, immersive engineering is it is auto-generated. It's not actually there. The, uh, the oil isn't actually in, like visible in this chunk. It's only the data for it. So as long as we put the pump jack, all of the pump jack within this chunk, we should start getting uh, oil. So I'm gonna free up some room, get rid of some of these dead trees so we have some room to put down the pump jack. Let's see. Move these guys up. We have a pump jack here. We have fluid pipe. All right, so let's see which direction. Is it left click to turn? Okay, we'll put you here. And it, I don't think it matters which direction it faces. At least not to me. Like I have no preference to which direction it faces. Maybe having both of the pump jacks. Uh, I don't know, maybe it adds a little bit of random. If I have one facing this way and the other one facing the other way, either way it doesn't matter. The pipe is gonna be run. The crude oil is going to be plugged into the crude oil pipe that we already have, so the existing pipe. Let's see. All right, I need to scroll up. Yep, there we go. The second pump jack is inside of the, uh, the blueprint as well. So now we can actually, let's go ahead and, which, which chunk was it? It was over here, we have lava here. So let's see, lava, 862 millibuckets of lava. And I believe 
believe we have lava super close, right? Over here somewhere. Let me sprint. Yeah, right here. This one has... No, that's copper. Silly me. There it is. This one has 415. So let's go ahead and set up over here. We're going to have both of the pump jacks near each other. Okay, right here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move these trees. Alright, left click, and as long as it's inside the chunk. Let's make sure by walking around. Yeah, we're good. This will, will be our lava. Alright, let's grab our hammer. And we can get rid of F9. Which side do you... I think we hammer this. Yeah, we hammer the inside right there. So here's our pump jack. This guy's going to need power. And uh, we need to run the pipe for lava. But this one is not going to be this episode. Uh, this bad boy over here, this one is going to be for our existing for this episode. So we are going to move this stuff up higher. Okay. This guy's going to need power, and conveniently we can run this power line over here. So we need, let's see, do I have it on me? I do. Extendable post. Put the hammer up. We have aluminum fence. We have relays and wire connectors. Perfect. That is one thing that I did not make sure I had enough of. So I'm going to get rid of this tree as well. This guy's in the way. And let me not let the tree fall on me. Let's go. We also need insulated wire. We don't need these guys anymore. We need relays. Okay, so let's see. How far can you reach? Right here. And we're going to go in a straight line. This way. And try to get only one pipe going. So you can reach to here. This guy. Okay, what was it? It is to... I want these guys to all be on the same Y level. And then what is that? I already forgot how many count I want. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I do need the hammer. So I can boop this guy. Alright, hammer. And hopefully I only need this one. Yeah, I can. I'm holding down shift. All right. And whoops. You, you, and please reach. That's my boy. I'm not sure if uh, this guy's pumping, if it voids what it's finding, or if it just stands still for a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure somebody in the comments will uh, will let me know if I'm wasting oil by putting this guy up first. This guy can only output a output on either side. So now we need to do the fun part of connecting this pipe. Let's get rid of... We don't need to lay down any more power lines. There we go. Hammer. And yeah, now we need to drop the pipe here. This is our crude oil. And then crude oil. Let's look at it. Let's make 100% sure. Right about here. Right about here. There's our crude oil. This way. What is this? Just a random tunnel. And let's see. 
let's peek up. Let's see where we're at. Okay. And right about here. do line up, but I, I hit ground. Okay, I need to go down one more. There we go. Oh, by one. Shame, shame. Let's go ahead and grab some of our glowstone nooks. And let's go... Where did I move? Here. And the rest looks fine. Alright. So now we have uh, crude oil coming in. A new supply of crude oil. And we can get rid. Uh, I mean, should I put dirt down? Because I'm probably going to clean up the area. I'll leave it open for right now because I'm probably going to make some kind of a, a factory block warming area. And of course, I'm going to use. Uh, a piece of pipe. Oh, I can do that right now. No. Scaffolding is what I need. Do I have any extra scaffolding? Let's see. Scaffolding for right here? No. And there we go. So scaffolding will make it flush to the ground. There we go. Pipe is set. Here I can set this over here. This can be cleaned up. Like there. Here where I poked my head through. So now these guys are going to get pumped full of uh, even more oil. Because this guy over here. I'm going to leave it there, because I want the power line to stay. And also, as far as I understand, with these fluid pump components, with these pump jacks, uh, even though the this area is empty, it will still trickle a little bit, trace amounts. The only bummer is that it does produce uh, pollution, but not much. So I'm just going to leave it sitting there for right now. I'm really, really hoping that the pump jack does not produce any pollution. I know the video is a little bit darker than how I'm playing, but I will make sure to figure out. Uh, I really do hope that these guys are clean because uh, carbon, I, I really don't want to be changing carbon filters out every four hours that I'm playing because I AFK a lot. Okay, so now that we're here, that is our gathering oil. Now we need the, uh, what's it called? We need a better way of refining the oil, which I just realized that this cable is gonna go through the unit, but I can always change the cable out later. We have the distillation tower right here. So let me see, let me put it down, no, what is it? Yeah, it's the scroll wheel. You click the scroll wheel. I want the redstone in the front. And then you right click. And as long as you keep this guy here on the main bar, the hologram will stay here. But I want to do one thing. Because this guy is a pain to tear down to move it. So let me see. Stop. Redstone is going to be right here in the front, so this is the way we're facing it. Alright. Output out the back. Input in the side. That looks good. So the hologram is set in the correct spot. So let's see what we can do. A block of coal coke. Where did that come from? Block of coal. 
Oh, when I broke down the, uh, the Coke oven. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. You can go back. We need to move some stuff onto our hotbar. This guy stays here. We need slabs, we need heavies. Oh no. Come on. We need redstone, we need heavies, we need light, we need fluid, iron sheet metal, scaffolding, and slabs. And let's see. Let's start building. When you highlight over it, it'll show you what needs to go where. It'll put a white box around it. There we go. Like this, not like that. I do need to put our mighty pick. Because I always derp and put it in the wrong spot. There we go. Here, and these are heavies, I believe. Boop, we finished the level. Boop. And redstone. Pipe. And what are these? These are iron sheet metal for. And we have another scaffolding. Scaffolding. It's gonna alternate like this. Four and a pipe. And a pipe. Pipe. Metal. Boop boop. Boop boop. Sheet metal. Sheet metal. Scaffolding pipe. And now we have the slabs. Which these guys aren't going to light up unless you have it self crafted to be the exact ones they want. But it doesn't matter which ones you use, it will complete the unit. The only thing that won't show is the uh, the white lines to tell you you are currently selected onto the right part. All right, let's go this way. If we're lucky, I, uh, no, it doesn't cross the wire, but it still that does bother me. I'm probably gonna change it. All right, and pipe. So, pipe, scaffolding. Go. The only problem I've ever run into is if you put the slab on the bottom by accident. You bottom slab it instead of top, it won't count as a complete. This is the last level of uh, slabs that we need. Be sure to hold shift too, because if you don't have any kind of fall support, this guy is pretty tall, so if you fall from the top, you probably will die. Your character will, will croak. Boop, boop, boop. Pipe, pipe, I believe. Pipe, pipe. And yeah, one, two, three, four. And there we go. It's green on the edges, meaning it is a fully functional, like you put it, you put it together correctly. All right, let's grab our hammer. And we can boop this guy. Is it there? Boom. There we go. Yeah, and that wire is just a little bit too close. It's gonna bug me. <laughs> All right, and this guy, let's see, how are we gonna do this? 
The input is right here. Let's go ahead and go this way. Open this up. That's because my magnet isn't displayed. There it is. We no longer need the hammer. So this is the crude oil pipe. Yeah, crude oil. And then we can also run the crude oil this way. So we'll go that Both units are running. And then we'll go up. Like so. And we can use some scaffolding to flush this guy as well. Kind of bugs me. There we go. All right. This guy needs power though, or else it's not going to run. And let's see, we can close this up there, like that. And Jasper, right there. Look flush. We need power. Oh, nice. So maybe I'll figure something out. We need one wire, we need one connector, which we already had out. Come on, there we go. Power here. Don't be like that. All right. Right here. And right here. Now you should have power. You have power, but you're not getting any oil. This is the input slot, right? Oh no, that's output. Input is blue, guys. I should know better. Let's go ahead and we can run this way. We need to go lower. Okay, let's go pipe. All right, input is blue. We're gonna come down like this, make it flush, awesome, and let's go, we can go past it. Let's see, this guy's gonna come down, so I don't want it to cross. We need to connect this. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, let's go low. Down. And down. Like that. This guy, output, oh, see, it's already spitting out bitumen. So we have output here. The output is going to come down one. And this guy is going to run one over. And this way. So that it doesn't connect over here. Oh, yeah. So now we have output, and it's yeah, it's it's spewing out bitumen or bitumen, whatever you want to call it. The output is coming out here and being put into the same line that the three outputs from the oil refinery is using. Whoop. pipes real quick before we call it an episode. Oil coming in over here, oil coming out over here, oil goes in here, out, out, and then out from the byproduct. The gasoline, the lubricant, and the diesel comes out here and into the out of this guy's three corners. And then that goes Yep, 
this way and into all of our fluid storage, our sheet metal tanks. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like if you feel like I earned it, and also click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft every Sunday at 11 a.m. I left some videos here for you that I think you might like, but I'm not sure if the buttons work. Could you check and let me know? Do. <laughs>